There is something very, very fishy going on in Singapore today. And I do mean that quite literally. Take a look. This is a 220 kilogram black Queensland grouper. Isn't it huge? The Queensland grouper was imported from Indonesia and is 81 centimeters lengthwise and 32 centimeters in width. Specially brought in by chef and Queensland grouper expert John Tan, this was quite a catch. A fish of such a size is not common. Since this fish is so big, special tools are needed to cut it up. But food lovers would be happy to know that almost every single part of the fish, from its scales to its bone marrow, can be eaten. So this is the bone marrow of the fish and apparently if you eat it, you will live a long good life. So now I'm going to try it and see what it tastes like. Mm. It's very refreshing, it's very smooth and a bit wobbly. It's a bit salty, but it's good. Now, if you had to choose just one part of this fish, but if you visit Chef Johnny Tan's restaurant Second Kitchen in Balestia or Great Atlantis in Pongo, you might just be in time to taste a few of his well-known giant grouper dishes. In fact, 40 to 50 of Chef Tan's regular customers have already made reservations for their share of this rare fish. Characteristically firm in texture and springy, the flesh of the Queensland grouper is suitable for a few methods of cooking. But what does first and only Queensland group of breeder, Taiwanese Wei Han Xing Shufu, have to say to those who are against eating this underwater gladiator, which has been listed as an endangered species? Uh According to the Agri-Food and Veterinary Authority of Singapore, this is not the biggest fish that has been imported to Singapore. The largest catch was a 400 to 450 kilogram tuna which was imported a few years back. 
However, this 220 kilogram Queensland grouper, according to Chef Tan, will still nonetheless feed some 700 lucky people over the next few days.